Welcome to the Biotech Whisperer channel. Our topic today is on an introduction to biofilms. If you are new here, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos. Biofilms are communities of microorganisms that are attached to a surface and play a significant role in the persistence of bacterial infections. Bacteria within a biofilm are several orders of magnitude more resistant to antibiotics compared with planktonic bacteria. Thus far, no drugs are in clinical use that specifically target bacterial biofilms. This is probably because until recently the molecular details of biofilm formation were poorly understood. Bacteria integrate information from the environment, such as quorum sensing autoinducers and nutrients, into appropriate biofilm-related gene expression and the identity of the key players, such as cyclic dinucleotide, second messengers and regulatory RNAs, are beginning to be uncovered. Dating back to the seminal works of Robert Koch, the father of modern microbiology, to the 1970s, bacteria were largely considered single free-floating microorganisms. Using the planktonic pure bacterial culture model, scientists have been able to study many deadly bacteria and develop biocytes to kill such bacteria. The emergence of drug-resistant bacteria and the difficulty in killing some bacteria led to a re-evaluation of the bacterial lifestyle and it is now acknowledged that the aggregation of bacteria within self-produced matrices, called biofilms, endows bacteria with mechanisms to resist biocytes. Biofilms were observed a few centuries before their relevance to the persistence of disease was realized. In 1684, a Dutch scientist, Anthony van Leeuwenhoek, saw dental plaque using his self-constructed microscope and he described it as scurf. During the early part of the 20th century many scientists reported that most bacteria were not free-floating but were attached to surfaces, such as the bottom of lakes. Scientists began to realize that some sessile bacteria were directly related to disease when in 1977 Pseudomonas aeruginosa aggregation was found in sputum from the lungs of infected cystic fibrosis patients. In 1978, Clark reported that an important component of Streptococcus mutans biofilm, polysaccharide glycocalyx, formed on teeth. The term biofilm was formally introduced in 1978 by Costerton. Biofilms have varied morphologies, depending on the constituent bacteria, as well as the conditions under which that biofilm was formed. In the last few years, interest in biofilm formation by a group of clinically relevant bacteria, which cause high mortality, called escape, Enterococcus faecalis, Staphylococcus aureus, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Acinetobacter baumanniae, P. aeruginosa and Enterobacter species, have intensified. There is an interest in understanding biofilm formation by bacteria that cause dental caries, such as Streptococcus sobrinus and S. mutans, and also there are many efforts to delineate biofilm mechanisms of bacteria that fall in plants, such as Proteus mirabilis. In the rest of this video, we highlight current understanding in how the aforementioned and other bacteria form biofilms and targets or processes for which small molecules can be developed against to inhibit bacterial biofilm formation. There are many new knowledge added from ongoing research in biofilms and bacteria resistance where some example of articles are shown in the screen grab. Biofilms are defined as aggregated microorganism communities attached to surfaces and embedded in a self-produced matrix which is composed of extracellular polysaccharide, DNA, and proteins. There are three steps in biofilm formation, attachment, maturation, and dispersion. The biofilm structure provides the bacteria with the ability to tolerate harsh environmental conditions, resistance to antibiotics and host immune systems, and provides an optimal environment for extracellular DNA, plasmid, exchange. Various human diseases are related to biofilm. Biofilms 
play an important role in dental diseases. In fact, signaling as part of quorum sensing is an important and hot area of research, with the most recent article on signaling published in Nature Journals on December 12, 2022. Signaling in Biofilm Formation Bacteria synchronize their gene expression by producing and responding to autoinducers. Quorum sensing regulates biofilm formation in several bacterial species. CDGMP is a second messenger that modulates a variety of bacterial growth phenotypes, including biofilm formation. In addition, recent research also demonstrates that SRNAs are also biofilm regulators. In our next video of the biofilm series, we will do a deep dive into quorum sensing. Please give us a like if you have enjoyed the video.